Hey friends, it's Miss Hoffman again. In our last video, we talked about self-portraits, which are uh, pictures that are of the person that created it, so of the artist, so that would be you. And we made self-portrait minions. If you didn't have a chance to look at that, you can go back on my YouTube channel and find it. And this one is going to be self-portrait Lego people. So if you have ever watched the Lego movie, I know my girls and I have watched it lots of times, and this would be Lego Miss Hoffman. So right here it says Lego Hoffman on my name tag. It says art. And I tried to again put self-expressive things. Self-expressive purpose of art again is the art that is about you and a self-portrait is art of you. And so I have green shirt to represent I love green. Got my blue jeans. You know I like to wear my blue jeans. I have a paintbrush in one hand and a little sneakiness with my favorite color here uh, splashed about. An art palette in the other hand and paint splatters all around. You can see I have my hair is down and uh, put in longer hair to kind of represent kind of what I look like. And so this is a Lego version of Miss Hoffman. Now, just like I said, when if you watch the Lego Minion one with me, it's hard to do step by step how to draw you because everybody is going to look a little different and have different things in their pictures to represent them. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna show you the basic steps how to draw a Lego person, and then you could customize that to fit um, your self-portrait to make it look like you. But I'm just gonna show you the basic steps to how to draw this shape of a Lego person, and then you can go back in and customize it. Now, most of the time, I start off with marker just so you can see better, but I'm going to use a pencil just so I can show you how you could erase different things to customize it. Because on a Lego person, you know, they have a little block top on the top of their head. That way you can snap on hats and snap on hair and, uh, hair and accessories. So. I'm gonna draw that as I draw the step-by-step -step how to draw a Lego person. That way, if you wanted that little detail, you could keep it, but then I can show you um, how to erase it and customize it. So here's Miss Hoffman's Lego person. How to draw just a basic Lego person. You start off with a line that goes up, a line that goes over, and a line that goes down. That is the little um, section at the top of the Lego that you would have like a little block that you could snap, like I said, an accessory piece down, hair or a hat. Then we're gonna draw a line that's longer across the top, so it looks like a rectangle laying on a tabletop, okay? Next step, you're going to use round edges and you're, instead of square edges, and you're gonna round that out, bring it down round that out and bring it down. And I should probably erase that and make it a little shorter. Miss Hoffman's glad she's using a pencil this time. And round that out and bring it around. All right, so it's kind of a rectangular face. Mine's a little crooked. Miss Hoffman's obviously not drawn a lot of Lego people in her lifetime here. All right, so I have a rectangular face, a little top knot on top of his head. Now I'm going to do a rectangular neck here. And then here's how you do the body. You go out a little, curve down. Out a little, curve down, and then connect. If you can see, Ms. Hoffman has that right here. Out, down, out, down, connect. I just kind of customized mine and made it look like I was wearing a t-shirt. All right, to do the arms, we curve out, out, like that, and then curve up a little bit, curve up a little bit like the end of a sleeve. And then you could even draw an extra line for the end of the sleeve here. You could customize this and put a collar on the shirt. You know, you can do all different types of details. If you're on a baseball team, you could draw your um, jersey number on here or the name of your school on here or you could draw your favorite cartoon character or anime character, favorite TV show or band. So you can customize this to make it look like you. Next, what we're gonna do is we are going to draw down, 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 down. Legos almost have like a claw type hand. Make me think of a claw grab machine. So we're gonna go out, 
at a curve, out at a curve. So it kind of looks like a C on its side. If I was going to turn this, you can see it looks like a letter C, okay? So I'm trying to get that angled back in the camera here. I might run out of room for his legs here. And then curve down, curve down, back up and around like a C. Back up and around like a C. And I can draw a little bit of 3D effect inside his hand, okay? Or her hand. Then I can start the pants. And then I would just go down, down, down. And I ran out a little bit of out, out of room, but then when you get to the bottom, you can just draw a line across right here for like where the feet would be. Okay, now this is how to draw the basic shape again. So here's my basic shape of my Lego person. I've customized it to look like me, but you do rectangle for the top knot, for the top block, curved rectangular face, skinny rectangular neck. Again, rectangle, rectangle, since this is a block person. Kind of curve down, curve down, connect. Belt shape, leg shapes, curve down with a curve up down, down, C-shape claw hands. And so this is the basic shape. Now to do the Lego looking face, you would do eyes like this and leave a little light reflection in the eye. That way when you color the rest of this in black, it has that little light reflection. And then you could draw a smile. That's gonna give it that Lego look. But I wanted to customize mine a little bit because you guys know I wear glasses, so I put glasses on my Lego person. If you wear glasses, you might wanna do that. You might wanna put sunglasses on your Lego person if you like to wear sunglasses. Let's say that you have long hair like Miss Hoffman. You would erase this top square, or just not draw the top square to begin with, and you would draw in the long hair. If you wear, like a ball cap, we said maybe you're on a baseball team, you could draw the brim of the ball cap, the top of the ball cap, put some stripes on it, and make it more customized to you. So if you're a ball player, you could put on a cap, maybe in this hand, we could have a baseball. Maybe in this hand, he's holding a bat. Going behind him here a little bit and off to the side where we can't see it. Okay, and so you can have any type of Lego person that you want. You can customize it to the way you want. Maybe this person's number is number 22, so we could give him his jersey number. Give him some stripes on his arms. He looks like a pretty cool baseball player now. So, again, to do a Lego uh, self-portrait, it's kind of hard to show step-by-step step because everybody's is gonna look different. But, basic steps, Curved rectangular face, skinny rectangular neck. A little bit longer out for the top of the torso. It goes down at an angle, down an angle, connect. Curve down, C-shape up. Curve down, C-shape up. Line down, line down, line down, line down. Claw grab hands, okay, <laughs> looks like letter C. Do a skinny rectangle for the belt. Longer rectangles for the legs, skinny rectangles for the bottom pegs where they would stick down into that bottom section where they would have the little holes at the bottom of their feet to stick to the Lego board. And then customize it with things about you, which is the self-expressive purpose of art. So again, we know Miss Hoffman loves green. We have a little bit of a sense of what she looks like with her glasses and her hair. And we know I love to paint, so. We have a little bit about Miss Hoffman, Lego Hoffman here. I hope you enjoy this. I'd love to see pictures. Feel free to email them to me if you decide to draw a Lego self-portrait today or sometime soon. Miss you guys. I hope to see you soon. Bye.